Hey y'all, it's Jag. Welcome back to the arcade. Let's get back to just another game, The Legend of Zelda, The Twilight Princess. Now that we've climbed to the top of the Temple of Time, it's time to make our way all the way back down. But we have the statue we need in order to uh, open that gate all the way at the bottom. So it's just a matter of being able to transport it all the way down. Alright, so bad news bears were sealed in. A lot of the traps and things have uh, kind of replenished themselves, but I believe one thing you can do is you can smash these gates. So that's cool. Also, real good at taking down these things so you know it's kind of like it's kind of like having a super weapon in a lot of ways like the dominion rod itself does not do much but when you have a statue with you it does a lot and this is why we need this switch Mostly because Statue-chan can't climb. Statue-chan cannot climb at all. Alright, we're gonna need... We're gonna need a little more space because I need you to stand on that switch for me so I can get through here. Perfect, thank you. So smashy, smashy. Good enough. We don't have to worry about a lot of the traps anymore. Can't do anything about that one. That's okay. You're doing your best. You're doing your best and I appreciate it. You can smash the spike traps though. Just gonna make this room much easier. In fact, I believe we have to. Because I need to put you here. And I need to figure out how to raise... Raise this up. Because we need to move you onto this pad. Uh... Oh, wait. Is it under the Bemos? Oops, I didn't want to do that. I think it's, I think the Bemos is sitting on top of it. Damn it. There we go, yeah. Okay. So, move you... onto the pad, onto the stairs. Perfect. All right. Now, those little statues also have holes in them, so you can also control them with the Dominion Rod. And this basically is just like controlling the statues in uh, the Wind Waker. This is basically, instead of using the Song of Domination or whatever it was, you're using the rod. It's kind of cool that they're bringing this mechanic back. And they're elaborating on it, because you did not do this sort of thing in um, Wind Waker at all. Alright, cool. So we moved it down to another location. Now, this area. What are we doing here? Because I really want that chest that's up there. So how, in fact, do... Well, we're probably going to be able to raise ourselves up to the level at Poe. <laughs> right. 
Right, let's uh let's quit that. Throw this up there. Perfect. I need to raise this a little bit. There we go. We're gonna aim at that statue. Not quite high enough, you say. Interesting. All right. So how do we get up to that Poe is kind of my real question. Let's see. I guess we really do have to go on that claw shot in the middle. Assuming we can. A little bit far. Maybe we claw shot over here and we can get to it. Alright, claw shot from here. Claw shot? No? No claw shot. Alright. really do want to solve the secret of this room, because I feel like, well, I mean, not only is there a Poe, but clearly there's something else going on. Can I claw shot from here? Or even better, from here? So I should certainly be able to claw shot from here. Yeah. Alright, there we go. Now we're kind of cooking with gas. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, now the trick is to turn into a wolf, and whatever I do, do not get knocked back off. Fortunately, there's a nice big space to fight you in. Come here. Ow. Haha. <laughs> Rip and tear. You got the Poe Soul. Collect one from each Poe you defeat. See how many you have on the collection screen. Believe. If my count is at all correct. I want to check this. I believe that is 50. Which means we only have 10 more left. And you found the stamp for the Hellion Letter T. Check out your stamps on the collection screen. Alright, so that is Poe number 50, stamp number 32. Hmm. It's gonna be real interesting to see how I can pull that off on my counter. And there's. Just might be one after the other. Might not be that big a deal. Or maybe I can, like, lower it temporarily. I'll have to see. Probably shouldn't talk about my editing stuff while I'm about to fight. Ow. Oh. That looks like... a big chest. Oh god, I didn't want to wake you up. Alright, good, go back to sleep. This is some good camera angle. There we go. This is a good camera angle. Fan of it. Big fan. I didn't want to do that. Just trying to jump to the side. 
Does that that does not open the gate though? So let's see, how are we gonna do this? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, I think this is where I finally have to use the Helmer Rocks as a wait, yeah. Talked about that a long time ago. I think this is finally the puzzle where they make you do it. Because there's only two statues up here. This might, might actually be the only time? I just knew there was at least one puzzle where you had to do it. Alright. Oh, can't target that. I thought that was way too far away. Perfect. Put that here. And then, where'd the other one die? There it is. Excellent. I feel like the claw shot gets longer the more the puzzle requires it. I don't feel like I should have been able to reach that one, but I could. You got the boss key. Use it to gain access to the lair of this dungeon's boss. Excellent. Good thing I explored up here. Now I don't have to ever do that again. Plus, you know, we got the stamp for what? The Hillion letter T? Or whatever? One of them? Okay. Oh, did we... Yeah, it went back. This room reset. Okay. Alright, come here. Love that it reflects off things. Come here. Alright, return. Go ahead and bring... E right there. And then let's bring this out a bit. And return. Alright, come here. Ah, damn it. Let's free that. Can I just say, like, out of all the puzzles in video games, I really hate scale puzzles the most. Like, this is just kind of obnoxious. I mean, they always look cool. They're always really annoying. Alright, come here. So now I'm going to need to target you. Actually, maybe what I need to do is I may need to jump down there and throw a bunch of others up there to equal the weight. Okay. Oh, statue friend, you're so heavy. Yeah, you guys are fine when I'm carrying a statue. That's when you attack. Dicks. Also, I think they're more aggressive if... There's one of the big ones in there. I think they get less aggressive when one of their teenage forms isn't there. 
Oh yeah, man, put something in my hands, here they come. That's both really creepy and kind of cool. Alright, put that down. Fortunately, we have a whole series of weights. You come down here. Oh, if you swing, if you swing your your rod, the they jump a little bit. Also, what's going on with this camera? The camera did not like that position. All right, there we go. All right, throw some more of these over there. Statue Chan, I don't want to wait, Shame, but you are heavy. Okay, I'm gonna have to do this. I have to bring that down. And then do something to get rid of it. Get rid of one of these. All right. Oh, is it because this is... All right, okay, maybe not. All right, let's go. Oh God, then I gotta take... I gotta take four of them on, on the other side. Come here. Okay. We gotta throw four of them up there. One. Like I said, skill puzzles, tedious. Two. Three. Three, I said, damn it. Three. God, Link is fucking swole to be able to do this. All up there. Finally. Never mind. It's gonna say finally we're ready. Move this out of the way. Thank you. All right. You've made it to the other side of the scales bridge. Congratulations, Statue John. You and me forever. Let's go. All right, good thing about Statue Chan. Well, I thought Statue Chan was better at smashing. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's some good smash. We are the Smash Bros. Perfect. All right, get you under the next bell, and away you go. And check the map. We should never have to do anything in this room again. Cool. You didn't think you were gonna live, did you? How arrogant. All right, so we've got, we have the two stamps. We need to find the two heart pieces. Please tell me, that, okay, good. The Donophos did not come back to life. Excellent. Let's put the Dominion Rod where the spinner is and get out my 
bow and arrow. I just like having that on the trigger. Just feels natural that way. So now, throw some light, throw some light, final, aim it, there we go. Alright, shoot this again, come on, there we go. This whole dungeon's about how well can you aim, and... Generally, generally, the answer is not that great. Alright, let's throw some light at you. Yeah, have you shut down there. Which means we can come in here. Oops, wrong button. We can come in here and get Stachichan much easier. Bring Stachichan out. There we go. Alright, you wait here. Oh, I never realized that if you tumbled, it moves a little faster. That's cool. Alright. Now, let's see. Hit this. We can see what's in this chest. Haunting us. Probably a key. No! We got our first piece of heart for the dungeon! You collected five pieces and formed a new heart container. It also filled your life energy. Heart piece number 35, which means there's only 10 more left to get. Alright, come on. I suspected that was a heart piece, I doubted myself, and I learned that I should not doubt my instincts. I'm pretty sure I know where the other one might be. Pretty sure the other one might be in that alcove. At least there's something in that alcove. And now that we've got the Dominion Rod, we can get it. Oh, okay. Let's say, how am I supposed to get through here? The answer is incredibly easily, actually. Actually, can you smash this one? No. You can smash that. Which I guess I really didn't have to deal with the the uh, switch at all then. I should have just gone smashy smashy, so there's your tip. Don't do what I did. Make life easier for yourself. There you say. I feel like I will come get you in a minute. I gotta do this again. I guessed wrong. Actually, I gotta go all the way back down to get it. I guessed wrong again, and then I saw it and I didn't even do anything about it. Alright. Up? Is this up or down? It is down. But she you now lets me get this statue again, which I want. And then... Back up. And then up again, I guess. Well, let's put the statue in place. Wait, where the f where does the other one? Huh. 
Right, actually, why don't we just do this room while I'm thinking about it? Up we go. Okay, now it's just filled with those things. Excellent. Yeah, they are definitely more aggressive if one of these is around. And there are several of them. I just kind of missed. All right, now they're cowards. I actually kind of miss having the, uh, the armless knights in here. Iron Knuckle. I was trying the entire boss fight last episode to remember what what iron that was. It's an uh, it was an iron knuckle. That was the thing. All right, so let's take one of these statues. Actually, I guess we don't need to take one of the statues. Uh, throw it in there. Good job. Link, come on. God damn it, Link. Perfect. Exactly where I want it. Throw it. Throw it into the cage. Link, you're you're really not helpful right now. There we go. Alright. So now it's in the cage. We can use the Dominion Rod. Move it down and onto the switch. Alright, and we just do that with the one that's already in the cage on the other side, and that should spawn the chest. And I'm hopeful that will be our other piece of heart. Is it our other piece of heart? It sure is! You got a piece of heart! Collect five pieces to form a new heart container and increase your life energy. Number 36. Alright, what, what does our collection look like now? 50 pose, 32 stamps, 36 heart pieces. All the bugs. Complete bug collection. I don't know how, how when I'm gonna give those to Agatha. Because I'd like to use it when I need the money. I'd like to save them for when I need money, but I mean... I can't really think of what I need money for anymore. Alright, up we go. Oh, we need to get that 51st Poe. We do need to do that. That's the wrong button. Alright, come on, Statue Chan. I hope you don't expect me to carry you. Carry you across the threshold. All the way back down, and this is probably why that electricity disappeared. And it's back. Alright, we gotta go smash. There's kind of a reason they're teaching you to smash spiders and obstacles like this is going to be very important in the boss fight what's it bouncing off of What 
is it doing? All right, fine. I'll just kill you myself. Did it get bugged? Is that bug bugged? Huh. How did you miss that, Link? All right, come here. I need you to get a pow. So let's not take you straight to the bell yet. Let's go ahead and use you to open up this gate and get me my pow. Pow number 51. Thank you. Now I will put you on your bell. Perfect. On your bell. Bong. Okay. Wolf form time. Time to go for a po fight. You're not protected anymore. Surprise, bitch. You got the post, so collect one from each po you defeat. See how many you have on the collection screen. Perfect. I guess I don't need to be a wolf anymore. So it's all three pose that are in here, yes? Or two, yeah. Cool. We only have one more floor. A little bit of a long episode, but that's fine. We'll we'll get the we'll get Statue Chan all the way down to the bottom floor. This won't take long. Alright, we're gonna need a claw shot over the target. Over the over the gate. Thank you, handy claw shot target. Squeak. And see if I can bring you out with that. Cool. Perfect. All right, you come with me. All the way down here. I believe this is your final bell. Haha! <laughs> Thought you are gonna be sneaky. And you are wrong. Bong. Alright, am I right? Was that the final bell? That sure was. Alright, now that it's brought all the way back down to the bottom floor where it belongs, I think that's where we're gonna call it an episode here. Thank you guys so much for joining me and Statue John for our little adventure. If you enjoyed what you saw, let me know. Give me a like, leave me comments. Remember to subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Y'all have a great day. Bye bye.